In this demonstration, we'll look at data flow within integration services. First thing I'll do is I'm going to drag and drop a data flow task onto my control flow pane. And this is what gets confusing. People will ask me, but I don't understand. I thought you said we were going to work with data flow, and we are. But data flow is actually a control flow task. When the integration services package executes, it executes the different control flows, the different executables, control flow tasks. And then when it gets to the data flow task, it begins the execution. But within the data flow, you have some component specific to only data flow that we'll look at now. For example, I define first a source. In this case, I'll say OLEDB. And I'm going to use my local host default instance of SQL. I'm going to select my person schema person table. And I'm going to select only title, first, middle, and last name. Then what I want to do is I want to load that into my destination. I'm just going to dump it out into a flat file. I'll connect my data flow. And now I need to define the destination. Well, I'll create a new destination, flat file destination, and I'll call it names file. And I'm going to put it out on the C drive, my D drive folder, into a file called names.txt.txt. We'll look at the mappings, and there they are, first name, middle name, last name. I'll say OK. I'm going to add right here a data viewer. Now when I execute my data flow, what you'll see is it first begins to execute my data flow, control flow task, right here. I can see it's spinning yellow. That means it's executing. If I look at my data flow, what's happening now is it's taking the data from the source. For ETL, that would be extract. It would then apply any transformations. And what you're seeing now in this data grid viewer is the data as it's passing through memory. This is called the data flow pipeline. The data flow pipeline is only available within a data flow task. The only way to get data from a data flow task to, let's say, a script task within the control flow is to assign the values in the data flow over to a variable. Otherwise, once the data flow task completes, like this, it gets rid of the data flow pipeline, dumps all of the data that went through it from memory, and gets rid of those components the data flow pump, and the data flow pipeline. So in this demonstration, we looked at creating an integration services package with a data flow task.